We've always been so active and been moving around, been hiking and biking and sailing. And we've always tried our best to get the children with us. That has made us very close. It matters to me to be able to live each day and enjoy it. And I want to have energy to be around my family and uh, take care of myself each day. My life before the diagnosis was very different from what it is now. I was working full time, always outdoor, mountain biking, hiking. I started using my bike as an exercise. Back in 2008, I had my first racer bike. In 2019, I was in a mountain bike race. I was taking the easiest part of the route and uh, my pulse was just like maximum. There were clearly some signals from the body that something wasn't really okay. There was so much pain from my hip and it radiated all down to the knee and down to the ankle. So I had like an MRI and CT scan of the hip and of the liver. And there they found out it was actually leiomyosarcoma. So I knew I had cancer. This is probably the time I cried the most because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know how life would go on. I was going to a store that didn't have what I needed and I went across the street to a pet store. I walked out with a terrarium and two frogs and a week later I got two more. And yeah, now I have plenty. <laughs> My name is Heiko Guimundsson. I'm a physical therapist specialized in cancer rehabilitation. During my third year of studying to become a physical therapist, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was supposed to start as an intern in the cancer ward. Instead, I became a patient on that ward. I am a Buddhist, and in Buddhism, there is a concept of changing something that causes you suffering, and you uh, transform it into something positive in your life. Once I got my diagnosis and I realized there was so much that needed to be done about health for cancer patients, I determined I wanted to change that for, for myself and for others. After working in the cancer clinic for many years, I was about to start my PhD when I met an oncologist who introduced me to Sidekick and I got an offer to work for them. Now I work as a clinical lead for Sidekick Health working on developing their cancer programs. What fascinated me about Sidekick was that it was founded by medical doctors who wanted to bring clinical relevant information to patients. We have a multidisciplinary team of different professions that come together to make these programs suitable for users. So for instance, we have behavioral scientists, psychologists, nurses, doctors coming together to put in their perspectives and vision on things. We have different programs for different cancer types and also depending on the staging of your cancer that educate you about the treatment that you're going through and, and what you can do to manage the conditions and the side effects of that specific treatment. The patient gets the program as an app on the mobile phone and by answering questions, the program becomes personalized. So in the beginning, what was probably the most difficult to learn was my lack of energy. I mean, I was just at home feeling like completely lack of energy for a whole week. So when I started using the app, it was so encouraging to log the exercises. You can see how your energy levels is related to all the other things you do. So it's, it's really helpful even just to lock how are your pain level today? How did you sleep? I could talk about pain and sleeping and energy there. And I could also see like the whole picture. I have less energy this week than I had last week. So what was I doing last week that made me feel better then? These are all very important keys to get better in between chemos. Obviously, many people behind that app understood how I felt. It was a great companion to learning new healthy habits. It has really helped me to remember that each day is like so important 
to just live life. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but enjoy every day.